How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be reviewing the Surface Book 3. Let's take a look. The Surface Book 3 is a unique laptop. It's unique in its design, pricing model, and even its market placement. I love the Surface Book 2 and its minimalist, scandy looking design. Something designers from Shoreditch kind of thing would like. Anyway, since the Surface Book 2, this uh, latest iteration hasn't changed much. We still have the same keyboard, the same hinge, the same size and aspect ratio, and the same ports. Still no Thunderbolt 3. Uh, Microsoft has upgraded its internals and increased its price tag to match as well. Whether you decide to get the i5 or i7 versions, you get the latest 10th gen Intel Core processors. You can choose up to 32 gig of RAM, up to 1660 Ti NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards, and you get the same sharp display that Microsoft calls PixelSense display, which is, of course, a touchscreen also. We have ample amount of connection uh, options available. So there are two USB-A ports, uh, one USB-C, again, no Thunderbolt 3, and a 3.5 mil headphone port on the tablet portion, which makes sense. You also have two Surface Connect ports, one on the base and one on the tablet, and a full-size SDXC card reader as well, which I really like. Back to how unique it is, the tablet portion can be detached from the base at the press of a button. Doing so means less battery life as the, the base carries some more energy, more battery life in there. It also reduces its graphics performance as the base has the built-in NVIDIA graphics in there. So when using the Surface Book 3 for graphics intensive applications or tasks, you won't be able to detach the keyboard. However, if you're keen on using it as a tablet, then you can flip the tablet, uh, fold it back, uh, then crack on with your work. While some may complain about the lack of an upgraded uh, design, I actually quite like the look of it as it is. The magnesium body is really nice. The keyboard is one of the best I've used with backlight and 1.5 mil of key travel as well. It feels great to type on with a nice bounce to it. Uh, you have the Surface Pen too for drawing and of course you can buy the mouse as well or mice, whatever. If there's anything with this design, I often get tempted to bend the laptop further back uh, than it actually goes because of the way the hinge looks. I also don't like the large bezels, but I can get over that. Elsewhere, we have a front facing camera with a dual mic setup that supports Windows Hello. And there's also an eight megapixel camera on the back, which could be used for AR things or just taking pictures to annotate or whatever. The display on the 13 inch model has a 3000 by 2000 resolution with 267 PPI. You have 60 Hertz refresh rate, uh, as mentioned before, a three by two aspect ratio, which is great in tablet mode, but not so much when gaming. Good contrast is there as well at 1600 to one and a 10 point more to touch feature as well, which is very responsive and very act is actually one of the best I've seen out there. It's fairly bright at 307 nits of brightness, although that glossy finish can be a hindrance to your uh, view during, if you're using it in the direct sunlight situations. It's great for those editing photos with 97% uh, sRGB, and you've also got that 75% Adobe and 75% DCI-P3 as well. Overall, the Surface Book 3 isn't lacking when it comes to its design. Uh, display quality and usability is very good. I up there as well in my books. If anything, uh, it's heavier than a lot of the competition out there as well. Uh, the lack of Thunderbolt 3 could be an issue for the price tag. It's not really a gaming machine as you could uh, get something cheaper or the same price with 144 Hertz refresh uh, rate, for example. You can't just upgrade its uh, internal as well, like the competition and the, the speakers just aren't so great. Uh, my Galaxy S20 Ultra speakers are louder. So how about the internals? Uh, the 13 inch version is packed with the latest Intel Core i7 processor, 512 gigabytes of internal storage, 32 gigabytes of RAM and a GTX 1650 GPU uh, with four gig of RAM in there. In the real world, it means the Surface Book 3 has no issues crunching numbers in Excel whilst running uh, multiple op other applications at the same time, flicking between them as well, no issues at all. What's also great is that it doesn't get super hot or loud when under pressure. Although the everyday office folks who might edit the odd photos here and there, or something like me, someone like me, you might edit some photos in Lightroom, uh, every other day won't complain about its performance at all. It's, it just works perfect. The folks who are power hungry uh, for the price tag will find it uh, inadequate uh, for some of the 3D modeling tasks. Or if you ask people that use Adobe Premiere uh, a lot, for example, and running multiple Google Chrome tabs and uh, other Adobe applications in the background and running Spotify, that kind of stuff, you might find it hard as well. You might, you might get the odd uh, hiccups, especially Premiere, but I don't know if that's down to the hardware or the software in that sort of scenario. Battery life is not bad when attached, uh, as you can get a whole day's use out of it uh, on a normal use, uh, but three hours on just tablet mode only. Uh, which is not enough when compared to the, say, iPad Pro, for example. 
This then brings me to the title, which is Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Uh, the Surface Book 3 is a beautifully engineered machine, uh, but the price doesn't make it attractive versus the other offerings from the likes of Dell or HP. It's not a gaming machine, uh, but you can game on it. You can use it in tablet mode, uh, but you lose out on the graphics uh, capability that this thing is actually uh, capable of doing. Battery life is good as well. Uh, so what does it do best? Um, if you ask me, I'm actually not sure at this point. So that's it for the Surface Book 3 review, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, drop them there as well. All relevant links will be in the description area. But in the meantime, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification if this is your first time on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.